Bjarmaland also spelt Bjarmland and Bjarmia, Latin, Bjarmia or Bjarmia, Old English, Bjarmaland was a territory mentioned in Norse sagas since the Viking Age and in geographical accounts until the 16th century. The term is usually seen to have referred to the southern shores of the White Sea and the basin of the northern Davina River in Finnish as well as, presumably, some of the surrounding areas. Today, those territories comprise a part of the Arkhangelsk Oblast of Russia. Norse voyagers in Bajarmaland According to the voyage of Othair c. 890 CE, the Norwegian merchant Otar Othair reported to King Alfred the Great that he had sailed for fifteen days along the northern coast and then southwards, finally arriving at a great river, probably the northern Davina. At the estuary of the river dwelt the Biormas, who unlike the nomadic Sami peoples were sedentary, and their land was rich and populous. Othair did not know their language but he said that it resembled the language of the Sami people. The Bjarmians told Othair about their country and other countries that bordered it. Later, several expeditions were undertaken from Norway to Bjarmaland. In 920, Erik Bludax made a Viking expedition, as well as Harald II of Norway and Haakon Magnusson of Norway, in 1090. The best known expedition was that of Tor Hund who together with some friends, arrived in Bajarmaland in 1026. They started to trade with the inhabitants and bought a great many pelts, whereupon they pretended to leave. Later, they made shore in secret, and plundered the burial site, where the Bjarmians had erected an idol of their god Jamali. This god had a bowl containing silver on his knees, and a valuable chain around his neck. Tor and his men managed to escape from the pursuing Bjarmians with their rich booty. Identification The name Bajarmaland appears in Old Norse literature, possibly referring to the area where Arkhangels is presently situated, and where it was preceded by a Bjarmian settlement. The first appearance of the name occurs in an account of the travels of Othair of Halogeland, which was written in about 890. The name Permians is already found in the oldest document of the Rus, the Nestor's Chronicle. 1, the names of other Uralic tribes are also listed, including some Samoyedic peoples as well as the Veps, Cherimus, Mordvin, and Chudes. The place name Bajarmaland was also used later both by the German historian Adam of Bremen century and the Icelander Snorri Sturluson in Bosa Saga O. K. Harris, reporting about its rivers flowing out to Ganvik. It is not clear if they reference the same Bajarmaland as was mentioned in the voyage of Othair, however. The name of the Bjarmian god Jamali is so close to the word for «god» in most Finnic languages that Bjarmians were likely a Finnic group. In fact, languages belonging to other language groups have never been suggested within serious research. Olus Magnus located Bajarmaland in the Kola Peninsula in his Carta Marina et Descriptio Septentrionalium Terrarum, 1539, while Johannes Schefferus identified it with Lapland. Origin of the name, the Bjarmians Bjarmians cannot be connected directly to any existing group of people living today, but it is likely that they were a separate group of Finnic speakers in the White Sea area. Toponyms and loan words in dialects in northern Russia indicate that Finnic-speaking populations used to live in the area. Also Russian chronicles mention groups of people in the area associated with Finno-Ugric languages. Accordingly, many historians assume the terms Bjorm and Bjarm to derive from the Uralic word perm, which refers to traveling merchants and represents the old Permic culture. However, some linguists consider this theory to be speculative. Recent research on the Uralic substrate in northern Russian dialects suggests that several other Uralic groups besides the Permians lived in Bajarmaland, assumed to have included the Vienna Karelians, Sami, and Kvens. According to Helemsky, the language spoken c. 1000 AD in the northern Archangel region, which he terms Lop, was closely related to but distinct from the Sami languages proper. That would fit Otter's account perfectly. Bjarmian trade reached southeast to Bolgar, by the Volga River, where the Bjarmians also interacted with Scandinavians and Fennoscandians, who adventured southbound from the Baltic Sea area. <laughs> <laughs> Background 
Modern historians suppose that the wealth of the Byarmians was due to their profitable trade along the northern Davina, the Kama River and the Volga to Bulgar and other trading settlements in the south. Along this route, silver coins and other merchandise were exchanged for pelts and walrus tusks brought by the Byarmians. In fact, burial sites in modern Perm Krai are the richest source of Sasanian and Sogdian silverware from Iran. Further north, the Byarmians traded with the Sami. It seems that the Scandinavians made some use of the Davina trade route, in addition to the Volga trade route and Dnieper trade route. In 1217, two Norwegian traders arrived in Bajarmalan to buy pelts. One of the traders continued further south to pass to Russia in order to arrive in the Holy Land, where he intended to take part in the Crusades. The second trader who remained was killed by the Bjarmians. This caused Norwegian officials to undertake a campaign of retribution into Bjarmaland, which they pillaged in 1222. The 13th century seems to have seen the decline of the Bjarmians, who became tributaries of the Novgorod Republic. While many Slavs fled the Mongol invasion northward, to Beluziro and Bajarmaland, the displaced Bjarmians sought refuge in Norway, where they were given land around the Malangan fjord by Haakon IV of Norway in 1240. More important for the decline was probably that, with the onset of the Crusades, the trade routes had found a more westerly orientation or shifted considerably to the south. When the Novgorodians founded Veliki Ustiag, in the beginning of the 13th century, the Bjarmians had a serious competitor for the trade. More and more Pomors arrived in the area during the 14th and 15th centuries, which led to the final subjugation and assimilation of the Bjarmians by the Slavs. <laughs> Later use The collaborationist Quisling regime planned to build Norwegian colonies in northern Russia, following a future success of Operation Barbarossa, and which were to be named Bajarmaland, but these plans never came to be. See also Othair of Heligeland Kvenland Gardariki Miklagard Vinland Circling, scrolling. Equals equals notes. <laughs>